Hi everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the final project that I will be making in my Project Tray series number two. Um, this series has featured up to this point eight projects. Today makes project number nine. Um, in this series using the mixed tape kit from Click International. This features the Simple Stories and Bella Valentine's lines um, from 2023. And this is what I have left. Um, I have created eight projects up to this point and there were two travelers notebooks and I believe everything else was a 12 by 12 layout today we're going to do a mini album um, and mini albums are the way that I find what's best for me to use up all of the product that I have left in a kit if I'm trying to quote unquote kill a kit so to speak um, and that is exactly what I do today um, I literally um use about every piece of this kit that i possibly can there i do have a little bit of embellishments left over um i will walk through that with you in my wrap-up video um i will be um doing a wrap up here in the next few days and it's going to show all nine projects and what i have left over um and it's just going to be a quick wrap up but today let's go into today's project um a mini album i am creating um a it's i want to say four by six it might be a little bit smaller than that um four by six mini album and i did that because that is what size of papers i had um left over um you saw me trim down there in the beginning um and because it was a little bit larger scale instead of using like a binder ring or something like that i decided to pull out my mini cinch i haven't used this little guy in quite a bit um so i pulled out my mini cinch and um, some red matching wire and i am gonna bind this using that because it's gonna get a little chunky um i don't recommend using scissors like i just did there you will destroy your scissors if they aren't heavy duty use a pair of wire snips um i couldn't find mine um so i just used my scissors but they didn't get hurt thank goodness um so i'm going to go ahead and build my album pages um this one i did a miss punch in the beginning um but it was totally fine i just punched the other side of it and trimmed the other off because you're never even going to know um but what i did realize whenever i was starting to put this together in my binding was that my pages were upside down um, and some of them I punched backwards. Um, <laughs> and it was, that's how things go sometimes. Um, but instead of trimming things off and repunching everything, um, I pulled it off, rearranged my pages, and I just went with it because it is the end of this kit. I'm honestly um, a little bit done looking at it. Um, after nine projects, I'm ready to move on. Um, and that's what we're gonna do after this is done. Uh, but the binding is complete. Here's a quick flip through of what the pages are gonna look like. And now what I'm gonna do is just go through and pull everything out, lay everything out. I wanna see everything that I have left. Um, that way I can start to mentally process what I wanna put on my pages with my photos um, and what I have that I can use for titles, what should be on a page by itself, what needs to be with a photo. I mean, my brain is all over the place at this point, um, but I love, <laughs> love the sheet of paper with these words on it um, that I fussy cut on my very first layout and I had to make sure that I brought them back into. Um, so for my cover, um, I am going to use this chipboard word favorite and I am going to build a title off of that and it's going to say my favorite love song. Um, this mini album is going to be full of photos of my husband and I and our different trips and journeys and things that we like to do and it's going to be about him and I and um, the places that we like to go together when we can um, so that's going to be the stories that I tell this there I don't do a lot of journaling in this it's more embellishment heavy and photo heavy um, but it's about our journeys together and um, the places we like to go and things like that. Um, so I am going to use that word my um, and it's going to be my favorite. And then I'll be using that chipboard piece up at the top there that says love song. Um, and, and I'm going to be adding that in as well. Um, this page of octagons, I love it so much. I cut everything down out of this and use it as embellishments. 
um, for the arrows and the octagons throughout the rest of this mini album. I just love that sheet of paper. I wish every collection had a sheet of paper like that. I wish every collection had a sheet of large florals that could fussy cut, and I wish every collection had a sheet of tags. Um, if somebody hears me, <laughs> please make a sheet of shapes, flowers, and tags for every collection that you have out there. They are so versatile, especially when it comes to stuff like this and creating minis. Um, they're the perfect accent pieces. So I'm gonna add those octagons onto my page. Um, I am gonna glue everything down. Um, the chipboard is very sticky, um, but I'd like to, It's I, I think this album's gonna be handled and flip through and I want it to be able to last through that. Um, so I'm gonna glue everything. I did have one of those dimensional stickers left over, so I used that on the front, um, added that little rainbow um, piece up there at the top. And then this little cassette player down here at the bottom. I love those little guys and love that sheet of stickers. Um, so I put those in there. Now for my inside, um, I went through and cut apart all these photos and I'm trying to lay out what photos I want where um, just to get an idea of what I have going on first um, before I start embellishing. And honestly, I jump around a lot in this album. Um, I work... I, well, I feel like I work embellishments largest to smallest, so you'll see me flip around through this quite a bit. Um, for this page, I am going to do kind of like a double page spread. Um, I tried to fit all three of my photos on this paper strip, um, but as you can see, it doesn't fit. My photos were bigger than what this little strip would allow for one page. Um, so I just take one off and add two. So I'm going to do a bannered, photo, a bannered paper strip on the left. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the right, but it's only going to have one photo. Um, but I do have a tag left over um, from this collection. So I'm going to add that photo and this tag um, on the right hand side of the page. Um, and like I said, I'm going to treat this as kind of like a double page spread or a double page layout um, and make it very similar and so that it flows um, across both pages. This one, um, there was this photo and the page was too small for it, uh, but what I decided to do was let it go off the page up at the top of it um, and then on the back side, back it with another photo of the same size so that it looked intentional. Um, and then I'm just going to go through and go ahead and stick this page down. Um, I liked this long word together, thought that it fit there great, so we're just going to add that. Um, this guy, the photo here, I felt like it really blended in with the record, so I had this strip scrap piece of paper left over that was more white. Um, so I made it work and I made it um, fit this photo so that I could back it and I think that white was what it needed to pop off the page. Um, this last page um, is of him and I cuddling with our pup when he was really just a pup and now he's not. I mean he's still a puppy but oh, he's a cow. He's a almost 60 pound five month old cow. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and add these octagons behind the photo. Um, I wanted again that little bit of a color break between my photo and that back um, page of the album. I needed some kind of a visual break and I didn't have any paper left enough to back my photo. So I'm using these octagons um, as a way to do that, adding one at the top left and one at the bottom right. So I'm going back, flipping through to the beginning again and starting all over. Um, I'm adding things as I go. Uh, that twine was sitting on my desk, so I went ahead and put it on that tag. Um, I am going to use these letters. You are, or you make my heart sing, um, is what I'm gonna use for my title for these two pages. I go through and fussy cut these letters out. Um, I don't keep that all in there because I realize that does take forever. Um, and I do glue all of them down to the pages. Um, you Make My will be on the left page. Heart Sing will be on the right. And I do make sure that whenever I glue all of these down at the very end that I include that little heart um, that's after the word sing as the period. I love it. I think that's so cute. Um, so I do make sure that I trim that little guy out and don't lose him and add him in there um, as like the period for my sentence. Um, so now that that is on there, I do have, I got some sticky stuff on my tag. Um, I had this embellishment that says music, love, and sunshine, which was perfect because these were photos of him and I when we go to our beach vacation spot. We always go to the Outer Banks. Um, so 
So I made sure that I added that in there because it was just the perfect um, addition to that. Um, I added in some more enamel pieces and flipped on to the next page. Um, this had a blank page on the left, so I decided to use some of my larger embellishments. Um, we're going to use this large word today, and then our mix, which on that cassette tape, will go up there as well. Um, and I do build a embellishment cluster, um, so to speak, here for this left side. Um, I did feel like that this was getting a little bit lost in this. Um, so when I go to put all of this down, I pull out some of those um, white tickets and I try to pull in some more of these um, octagon shapes so that it helps um, break up all of that color. I do go back and forth using tape runner versus glue. I try to use the glue on the smaller pieces, um, that tape, um, I did use the tape runner on. That one's okay, because it's a larger piece, so I felt like that it would be all right. Um, this octagon had tickets all over it, and this was actually a photo of us at a music concert recently um, at our local winery, so I thought that the tickets were the perfect addition. Um, and then I added that mixed um, tape there that said, I love you. Um, and then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I moved on. Um, when I don't know what to do, I do move on. Um, I wanted to use this tab. It said Gal Pals. Um, I didn't find a place to use it at all throughout this series, so I used it as a backer on that chipboard and just made it work. Um, so at this point, I threw away all of my scraps, cleaned up my space, kind of reevaluated again what I had left, what I didn't, um, and how I was going to incorporate all of these and use them in what I had left over. Um, this was a phrase that says, My Happy Place, and um, thought it fit perfect and worked perfect um, on the bottom of this photo. I felt like the photo needed something very heavy for it to land on um, and rest on, so to speak, visually. Um, so I used that there and thought that it was the perfect addition. Um, this left page was also very blank and I saw that I did have two full hexagons left over. So I went ahead and trimmed those out um, and used those for the basis of this left page. Um, I'm going to build a small embellishment cluster here using both of those um, and some more of the letters that I'll fussy cut out along with those white tags. I feel like the white tags I have a, a lot left over, but that's okay because I was hoping so because I'm going to use those as journaling spots throughout this album. Um, so the word strip, I have love you left. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut those out, the letters, um, and we're going to create a... Um, small cluster that says love you and we're going to put that over a white ticket um, to help visually break all of that up and um, love how this little cluster looks um, once it all comes together i did use a lot of foam adhesive on this one because just because i felt like it, the, the weight of the embellishments that were going to sit on top of it um, and plus that with the these tags are a little bit thinner than typical cardstock so it needed that little bit um, of a lift but I'm going to go ahead and glue um, you on the bottom part of the ticket, and then I'm going to glue the word love up on the top. Um, I do have to readjust it a little bit once I get this all on there, just so that that L fits okay. Um, but I'll get them all in there and look so cute. Um, so these... Um, I have this record strip I have left over and I thought, well, how can I use this? So what I did was I actually fussy cut these half these records out um, and I tucked them in as embellishments um, around this cluster on this piece and it was perfect. Um, it was a great pop of color. It was the black that it needed for some grounding and I think that cluster looks really good. So I'm gonna move on after that. Um, I do here oh journaling um i'm going to use this piece of a ticket here and add that in i do put that cassette sticker over top of it but i do move it later on um this photo is going to get this large word happy 
um, I was holding on to it to use as a title. And then I'm going to use the other half of that ticket and put this underneath um, kind of as just an added layer, like a label or a grounding element underneath there. I'm not going to do any journaling on it, but it needed something underneath it to, to hold it kind of like as a resting place. Um, and then again, back to the beginning, like what can I add? Where can I add in these extra little pieces? Um, and this is where I start to add in the, um, the scrap pieces that are left of this. Um, I'm just kind of like trimming everything out so I can see what I have, what I don't have, I'm kind of tidying up my workspace as I go just to throw things away that need to be thrown away at this point, salvage what I could salvage. Um, I tried to use in some of these hexagons here, but quickly realized it was too much. So we added in a white label um, and that's going to house my journaling. Um, the bottom of it was just a bit too much. So I trimmed a little bit of that off um, and that's where I'll add my journaling there. Um, this left side is where I went back to and used one of the white labels um, to break up all of that color. Um, I, I try to use it and then I try to put the hexagons over top of it. it. It doesn't work. I leave the white label there. I take the hexagon off. Um, but I use this scrap piece of paper and I fussy cut the elements that are left on it out um, and use them as ephemera. Um, there was a record player in there and there was a microphone, which was perfect because again, this was a concert. So I went in, finally just glued down that label, added some foam adhesive behind the record and I'm going to adhere that straight down on top of that white label. Um, and then the microphone that I fussy cut out, we're gonna go ahead and just glue straight right on top there. And it was the perfect ephemera element that that, that cluster needed. Um, so enamel stickers, I add in that record. Um, there was a drum and drumsticks um, that I fussy cut out of this scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to add foam adhesive to the back of that. And I'm gonna add that right above the cassette to help fill in that top little gap there. Just trying to flip back and forth to see what's left, where I can add what. Um, that piece, I, I realized my photos weren't sticking together the greatest. Um, so I went ahead and actually used two of those hexagons and glued them together and tucked it in between my photos, kind of like as a tab, um, and just use that as kind of like a page element, uh, as a tab element up at the top of the photos. Um, so I had these circles that were actually from chipboards that were the centers of O's, um, and I saved them to use, and it worked great. I put the little peace sign over top of it, and it was the perfect addition. Fussy cut out a couple other things. Um, on the right there, I used another record player. There was like this half guitar I wanted to use. Wasn't sure how and where and what yet, but I do use it. Um, adding in more labels though first for journaling. Um, and on that sheet, I did fussy cut everything out that I wanted to use. And I did fussy cut the music notes out and added them there. And I think that looks so cute. Um, I do add a couple other little things over here on the left-hand side. I glue my photo down. Um, I will though add um, the two speakers there that you see, um, I will add to this page, um, under right, actually right there where I'm trying to add that in. Um, I will add both of those speakers, um, layered one on top of the other and kind of create a, another small cluster on this right side. I knew something needed to be there, but at this point it just didn't click for me. Um, <laughs> but I do go back after, again, I'm flipping back and forth constantly, um, adding in things, adding in enamel dots. There was that ticket piece left over. I used it up at the top because it just needed something. Um, there we go. Glue that photo down. Um, add both of these speakers in. Layered them up together so that they work. Um, there we go. Stick that down. The two music notes that are left will go um, around those as well. The guitar that's kind of missing the bottom piece it's going to actually go on this page right there um, right now you can actually see the bottom of it being chopped off um, but in the end i figured that i had some enamel dots that i would help cover up that piece that's missing um, with enamel dots and it does it works great in the end um, 
I had those two roller skates that I felt that were hard to use, so I was trying to find a place to use both of them, and that's where they went. Nothing to do with roller skates whatsoever, but that is where I had room for them in the end, and that's where everything landed. Um, so at this point, it was, okay, I have these couple few pieces of um, scrap papers left over. That piece of white chipboard is going to go there. It looks very empty right now, but I do draw in at some point a little black um, heart that fills that in um, and it looks good. I add that record in there and another one down towards the bottom and that uses up that scrap piece. Um, this page I felt there was a little bit of a blankness there but it's okay. I, I let it go um, and try to move on. Um, at this point I wasn't sure where I wanted to add the rest of what was left which honestly as you can see there is just a couple bits of scrap. So I went through and started adding, adding my journaling. Um, because I knew that's where I wanted that all to be um, before I wrap everything up. Um, and then this octagon will end up getting tucked right inside there. I'll trim off the bottom of it and then I'm going to move that enamel sticker over to the left side of that so that I can add just a snippet of some journaling on that white tag. Um, I do move the little roller skate down a bit and then I move on to this left side of the page. Didn't have very much left over to work with. I thought that there was a lot going on in this, so I went into my stash. I found a large red uh, label and a large black label, and I'm gonna use this to create a little bit of journaling about the photo on the right. Um, if you just looked at it, you wouldn't know the story behind it. Um, and my husband and I like to go on little miniature adventures together. And this was a tiny town that we found with like a little flea market um, and farmer's market. So I wanted to tell a little bit of a story. Um, but I had these letters left over. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I used, um, it says heart. And then I'm going to use the pink fresh. Um, alpha stickers there on the right that I haven't even used yet in this album um, it to do the dispel the word us so it's going to be heart us um, and then I'll do a little asterisk up at the top there in the peak of that top uh, hexagon and then I'll do my journaling about the photo on the right um, and about our journeys and where we always go um after the journaling on this one, I don't think there's a whole lot left other than these enamel dots. Um, I do not use any more of the alphas. I do not use any of the um, scalloped washi strips in this. Um, it, it was too light of a color and I think that they would have gotten lost. Um, these enamel dots, you can see I have some peach, some gray, some purple, and green. Um, I use all of the enamel dots that are left on this sheet with the exception of the green. Um, I just don't feel that the green really matched very well with this collection. Um, so I actually just used everything else other than that, cut that green strip out, and I will actually put that green strip back into my stash um, and use those later on. But otherwise, I'm just gonna go in, use up the rest of these enamel dots with the exception of the green, um, and call my mini album done. Um, I do do a flip through here at the end. And um, again, uh, this is the final project for this. So I will be showing a wrap up video here. Um, I'm hoping to have it up by the end of the week. Um, hopefully by Saturday, it'll be up on my channel and I will be sharing all nine projects. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of what is left over. Um, but here is a flip through of the completed mini and I'll have some close up photos for you here at the end. Thanks everyone so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did. Stay tuned for the close-up pictures and the wrap-up video later on this week and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see and be notified whenever I upload that final video and then stay tuned because I'm sure there will be a project tray number three series in the future. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Bye!